Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's build, as I'm sure you've guessed from the thumbnail, is going to be all about the aircraft carrier that's in the first Avengers movie, also known as the Shield Helicarrier. I've built this aircraft carrier before about a year ago, but I felt like it was in serious need of a remake. So I'll let you guys be the judge on what map I should revisit, and you chose the Helicarrier over the Death Star and the Venator. But that does not mean I won't revisit these projects later on in the year. Now if some of you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing at the end of the video if enjoyed, and if you want to see more of my Fortnite creative maps. But all that being said, let's start this project. The first thing I wanted to do before I started building was to find a 3D model of the helicarrier on SketchUp. I was lucky to find this one, and although there were a ton of details missing on it, it made me aware of the basic shapes I would need to create to build a Fortnite creative helicarrier. To start off the project, I first built the basic outline of the flight deck. This step is super important as I make sure the proportions of the helicarrier will be correct. I'm creating the outline to be about half scale to the one seen in the movies. Once I had this step complete, I jumped over to the Kevin floating island map, got rid of all the flying rocks, then pasted in from my quick bar the outline of the helicarrier. Now I could start working on building the flight deck of this ship. I used one of the new tarmac tiles found in the shark gallery to create the deck and then use a variety of different props that match the texture I wanted to create the edges of the deck. The front part of the helicarrier was rather difficult to shape. I mainly used the cube gallery to do this, and the end result was exactly how I imagined it. Next up was the belly of the carrier. To build this area, I slowly rotated the prop I was using inward to achieve the rounded structure. I also made sure to include the control room windows at the front part of the underside. It was now time to tie the whole underside of the ship together by building the back of it. There are two huge rear thrusters located here as well, so I made sure to recreate them as accurately as possible. The next structural component I had to build for the helicarrier was the bridge and the air traffic control tower. I took my time with this as I wanted to make sure the proportions of it matched the rest of the ship, and I think I captured it pretty well once it was finished. Of course we are building a helicarrier here, so it needs a flight system. In this case there are two propellers located at either side of the ship. I built the basic shapes out of the cube gallery first before adding any detail to them. Once this had been completed, I started creating the blades of the propeller out of the ring gallery and the turbine at its center out of the props I found in the dusty depot gallery. The main structure of the helicarrier had now been completed, so I went ahead and started adding the runway markings to the flight deck. Again, wanting this project to be as accurate as possible, I decided to build a shield logo out of the cube gallery on the grid island, and then duplicated it onto the front section of the flight deck. A lot of the exterior of the ship had now been finished, so I could now start working on the interior. On the back of the helicarrier there is a hollow section, which I assume is for docking smaller ships when it's in the water. This is the first interior section I started working on, where I built structural columns on either side of the hull's interior. I then went ahead and built the windowed area towards the center of the helicarrier, which acts as a border for the docking area and the main interior. This is also where the ship's lab is located. Now I could start mapping out the corridors and stairways inside the ship that will lead to the various different rooms. This is also a very important step when building the interior, and I would always encourage doing it before creating any rooms as the hallways and stairs make the ship accessible. To make the interior more interesting, every corridor is also different in design. The very first room I built on the ship was inspired by a scene in the movie where Tony Stark gets into his Iron Man suit. Before I started working on the suit itself however, I created the storage room along with the case in which its suit is kept first. Sculpting the Iron Man suit however would be no easy task and I used these props which are mostly in the Art Deco gallery to do it. Every prop had to be meticulously reshaped and rotated before being placed. I was constantly looking at reference images to make sure I got the look of the suit right and used my character to get the scale and proportions of the suit correct. After that first room had been completed, I started focusing on the other rooms found on board the helicarrier. Some of the main rooms I built on the ship were the detention center where Loki is kept, the main control room, and the laboratory where Loki's scepter can be found. 
I then built other rooms after this to fill out the rest of the ship, which included a gym, a cafeteria, and an armory. These rooms added a bit more realism to the ship, as its workers needed somewhere to keep their weapons, eat, and exercise. At this stage, the heli carrier was pretty much finished, but of course you can't have an aircraft carrier without vehicles. For this map, I wanted to build two aircraft. One was based off the F-35 fighter jet, as you can see it in the movie. And the other one was the Quinjet, which acts as a personal transporter and attack vehicle. The first one I built was the F-35 jet, and took about 3 or 4 hours to complete. I actually managed to keep this just under 100 props, so I could copy the whole thing to my quick bar. Then I went ahead and created the Quinjet, which also features a full interior. Unfortunately I couldn't keep it under 100 props, which makes transferring it to the helicarrier map more difficult. Once I was happy with my designs, I copied them to my quick bar and placed them on my helicarrier. I also placed one F-35 at either side of the ship to give the appearance of them escorting it. There are four game modes currently available for this map. The first is an exploration mode where you can fly around and just look at the map and explore it. The next one is a hide and seek mode. I found that a lot of you were requesting this and since it's pretty easy to make I decided to do it. I also built a free for all hero arena where you can battle it out as different superheroes which all have unique abilities. The final game mode was built with the help of my good friend Cross whose link will be in the description. It is an effective game mode where the Avengers have to survive for 5 minutes as Hydra tried to take them out. The map I will be featuring in today's video was built by Commander 1117YT. It is an ATK race game mode which you don't see very often. I think the NASCAR race circuit he built is just perfect, which was one of the main reasons why I wanted to feature it. Please join my Discord server to be featured in the next video. That brings this video to a close. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see me build next. That's it from me, see you in the next video.